let's move on with our theorems. Grade 11, Euclidean geometry, it's mainly about theorems. Once we grab our theorems, we will not even have problems when we go to our grade 12. Remember, this is what the biggest marks in our syllabus. This theorem says an angle subtended by an arc or a chord at the, at the center of a circle is twice as the angle subtended by the same arc or chord at the circumference. It is much, it's important that we should mention the position. When we abbreviate this, we simply say center theorem. Right, that's the center theorem. Now, it is important that we should understand this diagram. If I've got a circle, an angle subtended by, subtends means to form, an angle subtended by an arc or a chord at the center. Right, if this is the center, if I've got the angle subtended by this arc, this then becomes the arc. If you look at this arc, it might be the arc or the chord. This chord is doing the same thing as this arc. An angle subtended by an arc or a chord at the center of a circle. So look at this chord. These, I call them, these are hands-on problems. This chord takes me to the center. At the same time, this arc is taking me to the center. So this angle is either can be, it can either be subtended by a chord or an arc at the center of a circle. What about that? What about it? Now, if I've got another angle, subtended by the same uh, arc or chord at the circumference. If we go to the circumference, now the same arc is taking this angle into the circumference, or the same chord is taking this angle into the uh, circumference. What is the theorem saying? The angle at the center is two times bigger than the angle at the circumference. Which one is bigger? The one that is at the center. The one that is at the center is bigger than the one at the circumference. If the one at the center is 100, the one at the circumference will be 50. This is what this theorem is saying. Suppose we've got angle, a, we've got A there, B, and C. Right. Let's call this O. This theorem is saying the angle at the center is twice as the angle at the circumference. How do you go about proving this theorem? Now, this is not the only diagram. You can even have something like this. This one is going to the center. The same arc can take it into the circumference. It is still the same theorem. This angle here at the center will be two times bigger than the angle which is there at the circumference because they, they have to be subtended by the same arc or chord. One must be at the circumference, the other must be at the uh, center. Right, let us do this. Let us, do, let us prove that is it true that the angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference. Let's do this thing. Uh, Proof. Oh, let's, let, let me just do, write the, 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 the RTP required to prove. What is that we want to prove? We want to prove that, uh, let's call this O1, O1 here. Let's call this, yes, let's just call it O1. Let's call this other one that is on the reflex one. Let's call it O2. So what is it that we want to prove here? We want to prove that angle O1, O1, is equals to two angle A. This is what we want to prove. We want to prove that angle O1 or angle BOC, I'm just referred to it as angle O1, is equals to two angle A. So that's what we want to prove. We want to prove that the angle at the center is two times bigger than the angle at the circumference. O1 is equals to two A. Let's do this thing. Now, we need to have our construction. Remember that your construction is always on dotted lines. Your construction is always on dotted lines. The idea here is to, split, is to split these two triangles in this way. Maybe you produce it to T. Let's, let's call this T. Join A, O produced to T. A O produced to T. Maybe what will, will, will help me? Let me not let me not label this as O one as O two yet. Let me just call it uh, B A C. It will help me. It will make life easier for us if we call it B A C. It's B O C. Let's call this O. It's B O C. Let's just call it angle B O C. That's the angle that we want to prove that it is equals to two A. This angle B, 
OC, we want to, to prove that it is two times angle A. The angle at the center is twice as, because when I separated it like this, I want to use that O1 and O2 to show that uh, we've got, once I separate it like this, I've got two triangles. I've got, I've got the triangle on the left hand side and the triangle on the right. Now watch, in our grade 10, when we're doing with the triangles, we also learn about this theorem that says the exterior angle of the triangle is equal to the sum of the interior opposite angles. So this angle is equal to that angle plus this angle. If I extend it this way, if I call this the exterior, this one is equal to that one plus that one. So the exterior of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. So that theorem becomes vital in this one. Okay, I'm going to use this triangle first, triangle uh, AOC. That's the, I mentioned the triangle that I'm using. So I'm gonna be used in triangle AOC. AOC, this is the triangle that I'll be using to prove that, to help me prove that BOC is two times angle A. Right, because this is divided with this into two, I will then call this one O, O, let me just call this O1. Let me just call this A1. So this one is only one. Let me just call it this one O, O2. Let me just call this one A2, right. This one I'll be calling it once, this one I'll be calling it two, right. What is it that I have here? Let me just do my proof. I'm going to do my proof in this triangle. Do my proof there, let's do it. We are, we are now saying this one, A, O, what is the name of this distance from there to here? It is the radius. What is the name of this distance from here to here? It is also the radius. Now, once we've got this radius, let's, let's write that down. We know that A, O, A, O, A is equal to O, C, O, C. Why are those two sides the same? Why are those two sides the same? They're equal because, uh, these two are a D, they are a D of the same circle. Therefore, it will mean that O angle, if these two are equal, resin, D. Now, if, if in this triangle, if this side is the same as this side, it's just indicated, we've just indicated that this side is the same as this side. If this side is the same as this side, therefore those two angles will be the same. From that, from the, from that fact, we can conclude that angle A1 is the same as angle C. Why are these two the same? Because they are the, these are the angles of the opposite angles of equal side. This one is equal to that one, this one is opposite to this one, and this one is opposite to this, to this one. Because these two angles are, are angles that are equal, that are opposite, that are, that are opposite equal angles, therefore the two angles will be equal. Or usually we used to say base angles, or just say isosceles triangles. I think isosceles will cover us. It, because this is an isosceles triangle, if these two sides are the same, therefore those two angles will be the same as well. Right. Arian, <coughs> let's move on. Now that these two sides are, this, this, these two angles are the same, what do we know here? At the same time, look at this one. This O1, it is the exterior angle. Think of this theorem. This angle is equal to this side plus this, this angle plus this side, plus, plus that angle. So we are saying here, in this triangle here, in this triangle, this angle here is equal to that angle plus this angle. Because the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. Let's write that fact. We are now saying O1, O1, O1. This one is O1. Our O1 is then equal to angle O1, angle A1 plus angle C. Why are those two the same? Exterior angle of a triangle. Exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. Now, let's, let's look at this one. We are saying O1 is equal to A1 plus C, but we've just said A1 is the same as C. Let us look at what we want to prove. What is it that we want to prove? We want to prove this. As I move on, I don't want to forget what I want to prove. I want to prove that this angle is equal to 2A, 2A, 2A. It what I want to prove. Do I have C at what I want to prove? No, I want to prove that this angle is the same as that one. BOC is the same as two angle A. So there's no C there. So I've got to find a way of get, to get rid of the C. 
But I know that C is the same as A. Therefore, instead of C, I can take out C and push in A. What are we left with then? O1 will then be equals to A plus A, because this is no longer C. It is angle A1 plus angle A1, because C is the same as A1, and I don't have C there. So I push it in terms of A. Therefore, O1 will then be equals to two angle A1. This is what I wanted to come to. This step becomes vitally important. O1 is equal to two angle A1. In the very same way, similarly, I can show that O2 is equal to two angle A2. You can either use the word similarly, it is a powerful word, it shows that in the very same way that I've shown that O1 is equal to two, angle 2A, I can show it in the very same way that O2 is equal to angle 2A2. Now, if, if, if you want us to go that, that, that route, this is what we'll do. If we're doing it the longer way, we're going to say this, end, this side is the same as this side. In other words, AO is the same as BO. Why are these two the same? I'm following this one. It is radi of this triangle. I indicate the triangle that I'll be using in triangle ABO or AOB. Now, this equals to this. If these two sides are the same, therefore these two angles will be the same. But the exterior angle is equal to this side plus this side. If this one is equal to that plus this one, and this is equal to this one, I can safely say that O2 is equal to two angle A. Remove angle B because it's not part of what we want. Similarly, we can conclude that O2 is equal to angle O2 is equal to two angle A. Right. Angle O2 is in the very same way that I've used this one. I can show that O2 is equal to 2 in angle A. For the case of this class, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's take out the similarity and do it the longer way so that we can understand exactly what it is that we're doing. We've used the triangle number one. Let's use the triangle number two. In triangle what? AOB. AOB. This is the next triangle that I'll be using. Number one, I, I'm saying AO or OO, AO is equal to OB. Why are these two the same? Why is AO, AO equal to OB? These are radi, radius. Always mention your, your, your reason, radi. For the fact that these two are the same, therefore the two angles will be the same as well. It will make that triangle an isosceles triangle. Hence, uh, angle A2 will be the same as angle B at the bottom there. It will be the same as angle B, because we now have an isosceles triangle. Right, since the, fa the fact that this one is called to that, it makes this triangle isosceles. Right, once we have that, we move on to that theorem. The theorem that says the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two opposite angles, sum. We add sum of the two opposite interior angles. Now we can safely say that O2, in this particular case, angle O2 will then be equal to this angle, O2, will be equal to that angle plus this angle, right. O2 will be equal to A2, remember A2 is equal to B. O2 is equal to A2 plus angle B, right. Why are these two the same? The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. O2 is equal to that angle plus this angle. Remember what is it that we want to prove? What we want to prove has nothing to do with B. It has only A, so I've got to get rid of B. Remember what we want to prove, it has only two A, no Bs. So we get rid of B. It has got only A's, we get rid of this B. How do we get rid of this B? This is where we are getting rid of B. Because angle B is equal to a, 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 angle A2. So we can safely say that O2 is the same as A2 plus angle B. In this case, angle B is equal to A2. We don't have angle B here, so we express it in terms of A. So it is equal to a2, because these two are the same. So what do we have here? Therefore, angle O2 is the same as two angle A2. Right, this is what we have so far. This is another very important step in this process. Remember what we want to prove. We want to prove that the angle at the center, which is BOC, is twice as angle at the circumference. It's two times bigger than the angle at the circumference. Right, let's move on. Look here. Now, what do we have here? We've got O1 and O2. We've got O1 and O2. Let's add this two. 
If I've got O1, O1 plus O2. If I'm adding these two angles, O1 plus O2, I'm adding these two angles. What is O1? What is O1? What did I find to be O1? Ah, this is what I found to be O1. Remember, we found that O1 is equal to 2A. So O1 plus O2 is the same as 2 angle A1 plus, this is O1, O1 is 2 angle A1 plus O2. What is O2? It is 2 angle A2. So it's going to be plus 2 angle A2. Right. Right. That's what we have. That's what we have. Let's take this a step further. What is O1? What is actually O1 plus O2? Let's look at that. O1 plus O2. Ah, it's this whole angle. What is this O1 plus O2? It is BOC. Remember, this is what I want to prove. It is O1 plus O2. It is BOC. Because I'm trying to go back to what, my, to what I, I need to prove. So instead of writing O1 plus O2, I can refer to it as angle BOC. So instead of using O1 and O2, because I don't have them here, I can use angle B O C. So this is the same as this one. Angle O1 plus O2 is the same as angle B O C. So it is the same thing. It is equals to 2 angle A1 plus 2 angle A2. Now when I look at this, I can see a, a common factor, a common factor of 2. Now when I look at this, two, take out a common factor of 2, my common factor is 2. What am I left with? If I take two out here, I'll be left with angle A1. Remember, all these are angles. Angle A1 plus angle A2. When I multiply this by two, it will give me that. When I multiply that, it will give me that. So we are okay. Let's take this a step further. So angle BOC will be equals to two. What is A1 plus A2? Let's go back to our diagram and check what is A1 plus A2. What is A1 plus A2? A1 plus A2. It is the whole of angle A. It's A1 plus A2. So instead of A1 plus A2, I can simply put angle A. Ah, this is what we wanted to prove. That the angle at the center, it is twice as the angle at the circumference. So at all times we must remember the theorem. An angle subtended by an arc or a chord at the center of a circle is twice as the angle subtended by the same arc or chord at the circumference. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.